Now I can save 35 to 50 percent of the money at the last minute. I'll show you how I do that. So let's say all you have is, uh, let's go with $140,000. You end up in the nursing home, $140,000. You're not eligible, right? Because you can only have $16,800. You're paying attention. All right, what if you do this? Let's take half of that 140. We're going to give 70 to the kids. What's the penalty for doing that? If, if 10 months was for the whole 140, half would be five months. All right, so you give away half of it, $70,000 to the kids. That will give you a five-month penalty. I'm going to simplify this in a second. The other half of the money will pay for the nursing home for the five months. And at the end of the five months, your penalty is over, you're out of money, you're eligible for Medicaid, you saved half of it. It's more complicated than that. I'm not going to get into why it's more complicated, but the bottom line, that's the concept, is that you give away half and the other half will finance the other half, or the penalty period. So if even at the last minute, we can save a lot of money. But if you want to save your whole house, if you want to save a whole asset or assets, if, you want to, if there's assets you absolutely want to protect, 100% of them, you've got to get the assets out of your name, get your five-year look back started, get your five-year look back over with, and those assets will be protected. But I want to make something perfectly clear. I am not here today advocating that every one of you should be transferring away all your money to your kids. Because there's something more important than saving money and getting on Medicaid, and that's preserving your dignity and your independence and your control over your own life. 